Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Seven Circles. My name is Jonathan. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't done so, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. I can really, really use it. You know how the program goes. So today I'm talking about, I don't know what I'm talking about. To believe it or not, I kind of got, I kind of got some stuff on my chest. All right. So, you know, I speak about topics that maybe a lot of people don't talk about, right? They aren't too popular, but there is a community of people who are interested in this type of stuff. The anatomy of the body, maybe immortality, maybe breathitarianism, maybe other topics that we talk about, whatever, plant-based diet or um, breathing exercises, so on and so forth. All of those stuff, you know, that I speak about on this channel, it's a lot of different things. I know it's kind of all over the place, but... You know, recently, I guess recently, as of like the past two months, I've been asking people, what does it mean to be spiritual? What does spirituality mean to you? And uh, I've gotten so many different answers, all the way from, you know, um, the application of philosophy, all the way up to following your heart, to, you know, um, meditating every day, to eating a plant-based diet, right? It's so many variations of what spirituality means to different people. And people like to say, you know, that just a spiritual community, right? So that's the thing about language, man, because language puts people in a box. And especially with these titles, right? Titles, you know, they automatically have expectations tied to them. Like all of a sudden, you know, if, if I get married to someone, then all of a sudden my wife, she has expectations that probably aren't even verbalized that I should do as a husband based on her value system. And maybe the same would be with me or, or someone else, right? So, um, yeah, I, I want to speak on that a, a little bit because, um, you know, we, we like to talk about the spiritual community, right? I put that in quotations. You know, when I look at spirituality and I think about all of, you know, just life in existence, regardless of how we deem it, whether if it's negative or positive, good or bad, evil or, you know, whatever, doesn't matter. Everything is spiritual. Everything came from the spirit. It's going to be so many schools of thoughts. So many people are going to say things like, oh, this group of people, they don't have any souls. This group of people, they're reptilians. This group of people, they are this, they're that. You know, and then we're this group of people. We're the best. We're the, we're the chosen ones, whatever. Everybody's spiritual. Everybody, whether if they acknowledge it or not, the, it's, it depends if you're conscious of it or not. But we're all we're all made of the spirit. We have to be. If this is if this is God's universe, if this is the universe that came from the the great unknown, the great grandfather, the grandmother spirit. Some call it Tao. Some call it Brahman. Some call it God. Some call it whatever. If if this is if this is the energy that all things come from, then guess what? Everything is spiritual. Everything is spiritual. So. When we put these boxes around people, like somebody's spiritual, oh, he's spiritual, whatever. Maybe some people even get it mixed up with, um, you know, religious. They might use them synonymously. You know, there's, there's attachments and there's um, expectations that come to that that aren't verbalized a lot of times. And things like that might be flowing around. Somebody might think that somebody's spiritual. Oh, that person <clears throat> never gets angry. No, you know, the person that's evolved, who's an evolved human, human being, he's still going to experience every single bit of emotions that, you know, other human beings experience and, and even uh, animals to a certain extent, except he's grown up enough and he knows or she knows how to process them and use them in a way that will actually benefit them instead of, you know, in a way that's actually going to tear them down. That's the difference between somebody who is able to take energy and manipulate it so that it can actually benefit them. And, you know, they can be moving in a forward direction instead of backwards in a de destructive direction. That's all it is because we're all energy workers, right? Light workers. What's light? Energy. We're all energy workers. Everybody's dealing with energy. So these so-called spiritual people, and again, I put that in quotations, okay? They're no different than anybody, and they're no better than anybody. And they exhibit, you know, all types of things that everybody else exhibits. I mean, people who who um, cling close to the Bible, if they read stories of Jesus, yeah, he was tempted like every other man. And blazy, 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 blazy. You experience all these things. Buddha experienced a lot of these things. You know, um, Allah, uh, whatever, man. All of these um, people, right? And all of these, um, how would I say them? Um, all of these people that, that that are basically at the head of a religion that people have glorified, right? 
and to make them seem as if there's something if there's something more than themselves all these people they have done exactly what you and I are doing exactly 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 so spirituality doesn't mean being nice spirituality doesn't mean you know that you can't tell somebody hey fuck off like like leave me alone you understand what I'm saying spirituality doesn't mean that all of a sudden you have to be like this every single day um yes um um yes no spirituality is in my opinion okay is actually working with energy working working with energy and making sure that you're protecting yourself the first law of the first law of life if you look at life anywhere i don't care if it's animal plant life or whatever the first law of life is self preservation you know that that means to preserve oneself that's the that's the first law of life and you're going to see that in flowers from the most beautiful flowers that people love roses guess what roses have thorns you know why because they're so beautiful that people want to keep messing with them that they have to protect themselves you know uh to cactus plants right they house a lot of water they got to survive out in the desert so animals want to get that water from the plants what do they do they grow thorns right you got so many animals that have beaks and claws and teeth and all kinds of things so that they can protect themselves and we protect ourselves too and even single cell um microorganisms they protect themselves as well too that's just how it is that's how it is so you know we want to preserve one's life and then you move up in higher and higher and higher and higher and higher and higher degrees like when you're starting off like with qigong and everything you know i uh, put up a lot of videos probably about six months ago that all of a sudden at first it's hand to hand like with Tai Chi not Qigong but Tai Chi it's hand to hand and then eventually it's less hand to hand then eventually it's just all energy work and then eventually you don't got to do nothing doing without doing and you got such a big aura around you that nobody can even touch you okay so don't forget a lot of these systems right the the Shaolins and whatever you know these things that we deem as spiritual they were developed because people were attacking them and people were trying to take advantage of them. Okay, even even the monks, okay, monks in Tibet and many other places, right? They had forms of protection. Rather, it was big boulders on top of the mountains where they could remove like a log and then the boulders fall, fall down on the enemies trying to climb up the mountains. We have to protect oneself. So for somebody just to think that because you're, you're so-called spiritual, that you're going to allow people just to like hit on you and and literally you know what i mean like like ha inflict harm upon you like that's not that's not how it goes in my dictionary so i just want to put that out there because um yeah i've been experience experiencing some things and i think that people should stand up for themselves don't be a pushover stand up for yourself speak your truth that's part of this right here this is the um what do you call it the of uh, the fifth uh chakra right the throat chakra, the thyroid gland. You're speaking up for yourself. A lot of people don't speak up for themselves. A lot of people have their heads in the phone all the time and they're bending down like this and they're cutting off. They're cutting this off, right? A lot of people had the, the, the mask on their face. The mandate's lifted now where people literally can't talk. Like, speak up for yourself. There's nothing wrong with speaking up for yourself. There's nothing wrong with speaking up for And there's nothing right about that. It just is what it is. No, I'm not going to do that. Yes, I am going to do that. Like, whatever. Whatever. So, once again, that's my rant. That's how I'm feeling today. I don't know if you resonate with this or not, but I'm just going to express it because it is what it is. And I hope that you got something from it. If you agree with this, if you feel like I'm feeling, then cool. And if you don't, then cool. But let me know. Put some comments down low. Let me know your thoughts on this. Um, I got a lot more videos that I want to put out. I probably put out like three to four videos a week. Maybe I'll start being more proactive. There's so much that I want to do. I just have so much going on in my life. And business takes up so much of my um, energy. I still haven't made my membership page. But there's a lot of stuff I want to do. I want to talk to you guys about crypto, some money, do some more interviews. Um, we got a lot going on in, in the world right now. But stay strong. Stay beautiful. Stay lovely. Stay blessed. I love you guys. Take care. Till next time. Peace.